You're gonna die next. You're gonna die next. You're gonna die next. You're gonna die next. Hey, honey. Hmm? Can we talk? Sure. What's up? I was just thinking, and, uh, do you want to have kids? Oh, where did this come from? What's on your mind? I was just thinking, I guess. We're at that age where we should come to a decision, right? <sighs> right. I agree. I mean, do you want kids? I don't know. I mean, on one hand, kids are such a handful, but... But they can also be, like, the most important thing in a parent's life. But, right! That's exactly what I was about to say. Then again, the world is crazy out there. <laughs> you can say that again. With everything going on, it's a dangerous world out there. It's true. Plus, if we didn't have kids, you and I can focus on our goals and each other. Do you think we're, you know... Ready? To be honest, I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, you're right. M maybe we shouldn't have kids. Yeah, like we'd make good parents anyway. We are way too irresponsible. We could never be good parents, not with the way you drink. <laughs> exactly. So, it's decided then? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's decided. We don't want kids. All right, you heard her. Get the fuck out of here on the double. Hey, sweetie. Do you think we're ready for a dog? Hello there. My name's Dave. Hi, I'm Rob. We're from Cyanide and Happiness. We're going to be on Live.me streaming ourselves Wednesday, September the 14th, 3 p.m. CST. The link is in the description. It's right there! We're going to be answering all your questions, sketching horrible things, jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> on Live.me, follow the link in the description if you want to download the app. Did you get that? Ha <laughs> ha
Nelson with an 86 percent batting average this year. Steps up for the plate. For that Johnson, I'll tell you what, he's really been coming through this season. Definitely see him as a cohesive member of the Cincinnati Armadillos for years to come. There you can see Marshall setting up for the pitch. With the bases loaded like this, there's a lot of pressure Today on Marshall. Today was Dad's birthday. <laughs> you have to admit, he achieved something most of us only dream about. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Good Lord, that gives me a great idea! <laughs> hmm, how am I going to create my legacy? We take this upstairs instead. Yeah, let's go. Is this more what you had in mind? This isn't even my house!
Son? There's a woodpecker right outside my bedroom. It's so distracting. I need to study. Don't worry, son. I'll get my ladder. Hmm. Are you excited, son? A whole weekend at Grandma's house. I bet she'll make you cookies if you're good. This house is kind of weird. I don't like it. Well, my, my. Look how you've grown. Thanks for watching, Maggie. We really appreciate it. Goodbye, son. Now, Sonny, your room is upstairs on the right. Oh, OK. But whatever you do, don't go into the room on the left. You must stay out of that room. Uh, all right. I'll keep out. Remember, stay out of the room on the left. here soon. Look! It's Mothman! We're saved today thanks to your heroism. Who's that, Daddy? He's the hero our city has. Crystal 
ball to see your future. Ah, yes, yes. It is all clear to me now. What is it, fortune lady? Tell me what you see. Oh, I see a large, beautiful house. Yes, it is Christmas time. There is a beautiful tree outside, covered in snow. That's a snow globe. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a... <laughs> you, you know what? That was just real dumb. Here, let me try my other crystal ball. Oh, yes! I can see it now! Well? Oh, this does not look good. Fire! Flames! Th this does not bode well for your future! That's a candle. And you're insane. I'm out of here. <laughs> what a quack. A candle? Unbelievable. Hey, son, let's have some fun. Huh? Dad? It, uh, it, uh, it, 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 nothing. It says nothing. Come on, don't stop now. I'm having so much fun. Maybe, maybe I'll see what the next chapter says. Oh, God. What is it? No. No, I can't. Come on, let me see. Son. <laughs> oh, we did it, son. We beat the rain. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son.
hurry now. We'll be late for the opera. <laughs> I have to become what I fear most. I know I never said it when we made love, but I'm in love with you too. I'm so sorry, Meg. Stan? Marv? Stan, I'm sorry. I was actually gonna confess that I'm in love with Meg. You and I, we're over. M Meg? Guys, I have something to confess too. I'm pregnant. Oh, darling, that's wonderful news. Oh, wait. And Marv is the father. No! Oh, don't sound so disappointed, Marv! You've stolen my heart and my wife! I have nothing to live for! You, you don't understand. Meg and I are brother and sister! What? Survivors! This is the this worst day of my life! God, I have the oh, worst yeah. luck! Yeah. Really? Oh, you're the worst luck! Happening. Wait, no. Four! Oh. Four survivors! Oh, oh, man. Fucking God baby! Damn it. Oh, fucking shit! Yes! Oh, dicks! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, buddy, what are you laughing at? I'm just reading some comics on the internet. Doesn't that cause eye strain, back pain, and carpal tunnel? Now that you mention it, ouch, it, it does. Have you ever thought to yourself, there's got to be a better way? I have. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> All right. Introducing the Cyanide and Happiness book. Wow. Don't let your friends think that you're uncool, unhip, and unliterate. It's a must have. Look at all the amazing things it can do. Okay. Swat away bees and flies. Do an impression of a house. The possibilities are endless. Y you only mentioned two. You can use it to impress your friends, paper cut your enemies, pitch a cabin instead of a tent, use it to blow your nose, use it to blow your mind. You can level your table, fan yourself in the summer, heat your house in the winter, hold down your loose papers, but wait, there's more. You what? can train your dog, raise your kids, jog your memory, show it to your mom, teach your kids how to read. Daddy, what's her piece? You'll find out when you're older. Add sliced ham and make a delicious book sandwich. Show it to your mom again. Buy a bunch and stash them away. It's a mustache. Okay, well, I gotta- Entertain your friends at parties, make a splash at the office, put it in your toaster, put it in your mouth, spit it out, put it back in your mouth again. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Alright, I'll buy your fucking book. Oh, I already got you one. They also make great gifts! Before you meet my parents, there's something that you should know. My parents are, they're very religious. It's cool, babe. I love you, and I'm sure I'll love your family. Samantha, my little girl, and this must be Charlie. Chuck, Chaz, Chester, Chester Cheetah, <laughs> lay off those cheese puffs, you. <laughs> yeah. 
Hein, Samantha's here, and she brought a friend. Dinner's almost ready. Ooh, it smells great, hon. A meal fit for the Lord himself. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to say the blessing and thank the Lord for this feast. Now, how did it get like this? Hey, uh, Chester, you okay? Don't make this weird, okay? Just go with the flow. Hey, Chester, how about you do the carving? Go on, Charlie. Everyone is watching. <laughs> now, Timothy, how'd you get in there? spread looks great and smells great. You're a whiz of the kitchen, Deborah. Who'd you have to sell your soul to to get this good? <laughs> oh, Satan. So, party people, what's the verdict? Are we gonna take this upstairs or what? Look, babe, before you meet my parents, there's something I should tell you. My family's a little different, too. Oh, hell no. Fuck this noise. I swear to fucking Christ, what has happened to this country? I can't believe our Trevor built all this! Our little boy, all grown up and running his own water park. Now, where are we supposed to meet him? His text message says to go through the entrance and then look up? <laughs> oh! Dear, Mom, and Dad! It's time that I was honest with you and honest with myself. The last thing I want is to disappoint you. There's something you should know about me. This is difficult for me to tell you, but the truth is, I'm gay. I have a boyfriend named Richard, and we're getting married! I just want you to be proud of me. So, uh, what do you think? Oh, Trevor! My boy! Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, come on.
<laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to open a market on the corner together? As long as we get to do it together, honey. Everything sounds fun. Isn't it beautiful, honey? A shop of our own. It looks great. And we did it together. like we're on our way to being rich. Don't you see? We're already rich, because we have each other and our little shop of heaven, which we're going to run together forever. Oh, darling, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm happy too, darling. So, how was work? Oh, you know, difficult by myself, but, uh, I manage. You just won't let it go! I'm sorry I quit, okay? Ah, oh, come on, you lasted one day! and blow this case wide open. <laughs> blow. <laughs> blow jobs. Oh no. Dick Tucker, the easily aroused secret agent! All right, time to get those secret art files and bust this case wide open. <laughs> Bust. <laughs> Boobs. Boobies. <laughs> oh no. Dick Tucker, the easily aroused secret agent! <laughs> you thought you'd get my secret missile files, but now you're strapped to a not so secret missile yourself. <laughs> Best of luck. Dick Tucker. Yeah, breast of luck. I'm going to die. Wait, the control panel. I need to press that button. Button. Butt. Butts. Big butts. Big black butts. Well, Mr. Watson, we have your lab results back, and well, you've got norovirus, hepatitis, tendinitis, syphilis, salmonella, sickle cell, a rash, we don't know what it is, a toxoplasma, super asthma, better go call, make a wish, you haven't got much longer, and I haven't finished half my list. Your brains are thritic, blood's acidic, dick hole trickles, pickle juice, your pancreas is gangrenous, my god, please never reproduce, your seizure prone and every bone inside your body is cancerous, your joints go backwards and I lackwards to explain how bad this is, except for these words. Your taint's inflamed, your anus sprained, your every vein is clogged with black, your spines are wrecked, your throat's infected from your neck down to your crack, and all your poop is filled with lupus, all your shit is out of whack, your heart's diseased and full of bees, a single breeze could end your measly. Life and also measles, weevils, fecal beetles, fetal alcoholic syndrome, chronic symptoms common to medieval people. Your nose has blown, your back has stone, your cells have unknown chromosomes, and kidney stones and loads of Crohn's and toenail cheese and pubic leaves and leaky knees and athletes foot and truckers, but one twisted night you'll never sucks. With any luck, you'll kick the bucket soon enough. Also, your death.
What are you having there, William? <sighs> well, William, you better have enough to share with the whole class. <sighs> He's making learning fun. Since then, he's just been shut down. Oh, yeah. He's emotionally unavailable. Hmm. I'm starting to think we've grown too far apart, that we would be better on our own. There are a lot of hurt feelings in this room. You're both talking and you're both hearing, but I don't think either of you is listening. I want you to try something. A little role play to help you understand each other's points of view. Steven, I know you're trying to get a promotion, but I want to have a million babies. I'm too scared to commit because I've been living under my mother's skull. the time we have. 